Doug Shelley. Well, city officials tell us they've made improvements to Bloom Fiesta Park with improvements to food row, lighting and parking lots. But the biggest change they say is a new alert system for emergency alerts. The International Balloon Fiesta is home to more than half a million visitors during the course of nine days. After rain and thunderstorms put a halt to balloon glows, a new alert program is in place. This is a way to alert people within a radius of the Bloom Fiesta of any issues that might be occurring, as opposed to alerting the entire county or the entire state. So, uh, and even if it's traffic related, so we can basically do it a mile uh, around the Bloom Fiesta and so forth. The alert would be a text message from the emergency management office. APD says there will be security throughout the field, but even more crews will be patrolling areas outside Fiesta. We have property crimes detectives and we have individuals out in the community safeguarding a lot of the places that our visitors are going to be spending time at uh, to prevent theft and crime. They're also reminding people that guns are not allowed inside the park. Meanwhile, updates to the park drainage are expected to help in the case of rain. In the event there is some inclement weather, uh, we will be much better prepared uh, to handle the runoff uh, from from a rain event. There's also a new parking lot in the northeast corner of the park, which has a large capacity for vehicles. In fact, it'll add about 750 spaces here to the Balloon Fiesta parking network. Balloon Fiesta officials are also encouraging people to use the bike valet, which is free instead of driving. Reporting live at Balloon Fiesta Park, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. <laughs>